Hi, I'm Luke Raymond from Inaxis Security Systems. Today we're here to talk about the new Ajax NVRs. We're going to start by showing you how to actually do the installation of the physical piece itself of, you know, plugging the NVR in, uh, plugging in the hard drive, learning the whole thing in. Then we're going to go into the app and we're going to show you how to learn the NVR's app or the NVR into the app. Uh, this requires a few extra pieces that do not come with the NVR itself and we're going to talk about that. To start with, the Ajax NVR comes in an 8 or 16 channel version and it comes out of the box just like this. As you can see, there is no switch on this product. It is not like a traditional NVR. There is no switch. There, is no, there are no ports that you can see. Everything is actually hidden behind here and you can access it by opening the back. Just slide it down, good to go. Now, the NVR itself doesn't have a switch. So one of the first things you're going to need to know is that you're going to need to buy an external switch, which is what we're going to use to, preferably using a PoE switch, power your cameras. Now we've done this. We put an external switch, plugged a couple of cameras into it, and then plugged that switch into the internet. But at the same time, we plugged the Ajax app into the same switch. So here you have a switch which has cameras plugged into it, which has an Ajax uh, hub plugged into it, and we're going to plug the NVR into it. So now the switch has the NVR, the hub, the cameras itself, and then it has one cable going out to the internet connection. That's how we get all of this to talk. Because unlike the other Ajax products, the NVR doesn't speak directly to the hub. The NVR itself is a self-contained unit, basically. It connects out to the Ajax cloud, and that, by connecting it via the app, the NVR to the hub, that's how the hub speaks to the Ajax cloud, the NVR speaks to the Ajax cloud, and they're connected together. So, once we open the hub itself, we can see the back of it. So one of the things you need to know about an NVR is we need a hard drive. And as you can see, there is a massive space, but no hard drive. None of the Ajax apps, uh, none of the Ajax NVRs come with hard drives. So here at Anaxis Security Systems, we not only stock, obviously, the NVRs itself, both in 8 channel and 16 channel, both in black and in white, but we also are a full basket manufacturer. So we also stock hard drives, as you can see. We draw, stock hard drives and we stock switches. Switches are available in 4, 8, 16, 24 ports, full PoE, PoE+, Plus, whatever you need. And we do actually ship these together. So when you're building an app, uh, or when you're building a solution and you want the, uh, the Ajax hub to speak to an Ajax NVR, we can provide you the full solution, not just the NVR and the hub, but also the hard drives and the switches themselves. So how do we install the NVR's uh, hard drive? To start with, this is the space that it goes in, but the piece doesn't fit. So what you have to do is there's a little tab on the back here. You simply lift this tab and it's kind of like a little arm which is going to hold your hard drive in place. I then take the hard drive itself, push it in, and in the inside here, this is where the hard drive plugs in. So as I push it down and slide it into place, it's going to click in, and then by pushing the arm down, it's now sealed in place. Can't come out. Very, very slick. The second thing we're going to need to do is actually plug the uh, the the, the network cable, which is connected to the switch, as I said, as well as the power cable in. Now this is done on the bottom piece here. On one side you have your Cat5 connector, or your RJ45 connector, this is where the Cat5 plugs in, and on the other side you have your power cable. And it's actually identified for you on the outside of the box, but you just look in here, there's a power, there's Cat5, and there's a little piece here where the cables run through to get out. So we're going to plug these two in. We came pre-prepared, so we have a power plug, which I will plug in first. We have a Cat5, I'm going to plug in second, make sure everything is there. And now I'm going to slip the back piece, the back plate, on. Now what you're going to notice is just like the hub, the Ajax NVR is automatically going to have lights pop up. Now, right now it's got a yellow light. So what's going to happen is it's going to power itself up, it's going to read its hard drive, it's going to learn the hard drive in, basically. Then it's going to look for the internet connection. Once it turns green, you know that it is connected to the internet. And it is connected specifically to the Ajax cloud. Which means we can now learn it into the app. So now, we're going to take a look at the app itself, we're going to see the hub, which is the same hub I've used for a lot of other demos, and we're going to learn in the NVR and show you how then to find the cameras. So, as mentioned, 
I'm using the same demo we've used for a lot of these videos. So I'm gonna look at the app itself, and as you can see, the Canasa uh, hub, which is the one we use for all of our Canadian Security Association shows, it doesn't currently have an NVR. So when I go in and I scroll down, and there's a little section called Add Device. I'm gonna add this device just like I would add any other device, whether it's a, a contact or a glass break detector or a motion detector. What we do is we go and add a device, we name it, for example, NVR, and then I scan the QR code. So once I scan the QR code, the QR code is actually here on the back of the unit, right above where the Cat5 cable is. And I'm simply going to scan the QR code in my app, it learns itself in, and then I add the device. It says, make sure your NVR is enabled, which of course it is. We know that because we can see that it is currently connected to the internet by the green light. And we say, add device. Immediately OK. It literally took one second to learn the NVR in. And once the NVR is there, it appears right below my hub. But it currently shows zero cameras. So how we learn the cameras in is one of two ways. Either we can go back to add device, and we can add a third-party camera or a, an Ajax camera by adding a device, or we can do it directly from the NVR itself. When we click, click on cameras, it says there currently are no cameras. So by clicking the Add Camera location, it shows me all of the cameras that are on the local area network. And here I have one right here. Immediately, it's going to ask me for a username and password, which I can then put in and learn the cameras in. If you have an Ajax uh, camera, though, it's actually easier. The moment you say add cameras, it's going to have a list of those Ajax cameras and we simply choose them and boom, it adds them in right away. So the easiest way of programming, I'm obviously learning any third party cameras in is super, super easy. But even easier than that is using the Ajax cameras, which are full, four mega, uh, full uh, 4K, which is eight megapixel cameras, true day night, beautiful with fully built onboard analytics. And the NVR itself also has these analytics built in. So really slick product, really easy to learn in. We've got the NVRs, whether eight channel or 16 channel, whether black or white here in stock uh, at Inaxis. Uh, we've also got the, and the hard drives in multiple different sizes, whatever you're looking for. And we've got the external switches, not to mention our full line of storm cameras and legend cameras, which we have in stock as well. If you have any questions, comments, or you wanna know more information about any of these products, please reach out to us, leave your comments, uh, your information in the comment section below or reach out to us at www.inaxis.com. Cheers.